Okay everyone, so I wanted to do a quick planner walkthrough. This is my new Kiki K. It's gorgeous. It's an A5 or I think for them it's the large size. Ugh, excuse my creaking chairs. We're slowly <laughs> replacing them all. Anyways, so this is I think the icy blue and navy. I think this is what it's called. Um, I just got it like two weeks ago. So I'm, I'm, I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry. This, I had the Simple Stories Carpe Diem. And while it was nice, it just wasn't, it just didn't feel, you know what I mean? It just didn't feel right. Um, I didn't really care for the layout on the inside, like the pockets. I prefer the gold, the gold rings. And I was getting a lot of wear right here. And I'd only been using it for two months. So I decided to go ahead, and since I was really liking the, ring bound system to just go ahead and get a Kiki K and I'm so glad I did this like the quality is incomparable I really really love it and really for coming since the shipping was from Singapore I'm surprised it didn't take a lot longer to get here so I still have some stuff I want to do to it but it's 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 getting there so first over here on um, the new Kiki K's instead of having the two little notepads you have one big notepad which I really prefer that was something I didn't like about the old ones and also you have a nice little zipper pocket here and it's not like a real thick zipper that's going to um, you know impede anything closing in your planner and in here I just keep stamps there that's it just some stamps and I don't think I have anything back here sometimes I'll put like birthday party invitations back there um, or like wedding invitations like I had last month stuff like that um, and here I have my uh, my business card for work here I have a new paper clip. I think this is so, so cute. But since I carry this around with me, I'm afraid to put it like up here and have it get, like, get ruined. So for now I have it down here and it just makes me happy when I open my planner. Um, and here I have some stickers. I really need to find something better to do with like the stickers I use frequently. Like maybe, maybe I thought about adding a little clear sheet somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Like a check I wrote to someone and some emoji stickers that I just got. So I haven't even had a chance to put those away. And then some plan with um, honest stickers that I've been really liking. Just like the ones I've been using a lot. And then some of this paper, like this is actually from my Carpe Diem planner, but I what I did was I, um, adhered some of the pages that I, that I really like to print. I put them together and then punched them that way I can reuse them. These are the dividers that came with my Kiki K and in the first section I'm just gonna go in the first section I'm just gonna go like to a blank page. These are from so much planning the quality is amazing. Um, I can't remember exactly what the, these sheets are called but I use them for like habit uh, tracking like you know a way to encourage me to make sure I'm taking my vitamins every day and making my bed you know thing you know you get the picture so I write it down and check it off on the days that I do it and then further back I have um, an extra party planning sheet this is just a printout from Whitney WhitneyEnglish.com and um, you'll see further back I'm using one for the boys birthday party right now so that's just there. And then next I have menu planning, which this week has been kind of crazy. I've been back and forth. Um, from, here's a nice blank one now. From, for those of you who don't know, I live in Florida and I work in Georgia, I'm a travel nurse. So I go back and forth, back and forth. And I have the Sunday through Saturday and then further back I have the Monday and then the weekend, which I think I prefer it this way, but I'm really, you know, it's not that big of a deal. The paper, again, amazing. It doesn't bleed through at all. I got the nice grocery list on the back. I really love those. Um, here under the uh, notes section, if you will, um, I really need to probably relabel that. This is uh, bills. So here is my annual, semi-annual bills. And then I have just on um, like, you know, this type of paper where it's separated by each month. I just put my bills that are due specific, oh, sorry, I just want the tripod, to that month, um, like my ones that aren't due every month. And then this is my monthly bills. Let me go to an empty one. Uh, here's December. And again, these are from So Much Planning. The paper is amazing. And really, I don't have enough bills to fill up the whole sheet. So I thought about punching them on this side and, re and using the other side next year. But 
I mean, really, they're not that expensive, so I haven't decided if I'm going to be cheap about it yet. Um, here's another sh couple sheets from uh, the Carpe Diem planner that I just kind of glued them together. This is my to-do list. Um, it's just literally a bunch of lists. So here's like my camping list and yada yada. And then there's just some planner paper, or some just some line paper from Target, some to-do paper that came with my Kiki K. And this paper is pretty thin, but it, it, the quality is not bad. It's just you know thin because they want you to be able to have a lot of stuff in there. Um, and then this tab is all my kids stuff. So this is the sheet for their birthday party, just kind of filled out. Um, it's that Whitney English one. This is the RSVP list, cost sheet, which um, isn't done. This is next year for Emmett. These are, it's a school calendar for next year with all the days that he's in school. Um, this is the school supply list, which is craziness. Uh, the dress code, which is also crazy. It's a charter school that he got into. Um, this is just a list of things I want for him before he starts kindergarten next year. And Charlie is starting um, preschool, so this is like a you know his list. Uh, thankfully, they don't do uniforms there, so at least I don't have to worry about that. Um, this is uh, my planning tab, and I think I need a longer tab for here. This front sheet is um, for my nurse practitioner program. It's got all my list of classes. That way, as I go through each class and finish them, I can check it off, and it makes me feel accomplished. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have the name of my school, so I'll show it. So I've, I'm, I'm almost finished. Next week I finished my second class. So I still have a while to go, but I'm getting there. Um, and then here is my Erin Conrad. I don't think I have anything on there that you can't see. No. So here is um, March. Let's see. My new Kate Spade paper clip, which how freaking adorable. Um, and this is what this week looks like. I'm really happy with it. I used a lot of the Erin Condren monthly sticker books. Um, so really happy with that. This is next week, um, which I'm about to do a plan with me to finish this up. A lot of this I did a while ago, um, but I'm really happy with it. And then here is April. And I don't really have my monthly layout for that yet. All I really have after this is, um, like my work schedule, which isn't even set in stone yet. Uh, what I use for that is my friction, 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 I'm not even gonna try again. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, where it's nice because you write and then it, like something changes, you just erase it and there's very little shadowing and you don't see it again. Um, and this is May. I don't think I have really anything in May. Not yet, just birthdays. Um, my work contract ends May 7th on this day, so I'm not sure what I'll do after that if I'll, um, extend at the facility where I am. I've already extended once. Or if I'll go to another hospital within the same facility so that I already know like the charting system and such. I'm not sure. And then I have June in here. I just went up to June because I don't know if I'm going to continue with my Erin Condren or maybe try the so much crafting inserts. Um, I don't know. I've been using Erin Condren for so long that really the only thing that's deterring me from doing it is one I have to punch it myself so it does kind of eat in a little bit which doesn't bother me too much um, but sometimes the um, once I close the planner the tabs right here see how it's just like slightly curved which again not a deal breaker but it is kind of frustrating and then back here it's just a blank tab and then I have my Erin Condor notepad which I love the quality of the paper but they sure do like peel off a lot so it, that's a little frustrating, but um, I love it back there, and I think the, the dots look really nice. I kind of just go with everything. So here it is for now. It's still a work in progress, but I'm getting there, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in my next video.